TOEFL Integrated Writing Task. Writing based on reading and listening. For this task, you'll read a passage about an academic topic. A clock at the top right of your screen will tell you how much time you have to read. You should take notes in the passage while you read. The passage will then be removed, and you will listen to a lecture on the same topic. As you listen, you should also take notes. You will be able to see the reading passage again when it is time for you to write. You may use your notes to help you answer the question. You will then be asked to write a response that asks you about the relationship between the lecture to which you just listened and the reading passage. Using information from the reading passage in the lecture, answer the question as completely as possible. Please note that this question does not ask you for your personal opinion. Your response will be judged on the quality of your writing and on the completeness and accuracy of the content.
Indeed, modernizing African wholesale markets may be difficult, but I think it may be more possible than what the author in the reading passage suggests. It can, however, be argued that a wholesale market can in fact reduce overall transport costs incurred in the distribution of food if its location is carefully selected to reduce the need for retailers to buy stocks from several wholesalers scattered throughout the city. The system can further be supported by an intra-city transport system that ensures a regular flow of suitable haulage vehicles between wholesale and retail markets. This has been done in Abidjan, where the municipal authorities have set up a system with several vans, marks, market supplies that specialize in transporting goods between markets. Any job losses associated with the modernization of wholesale markets, however, can be fully or partially offset as a result of increased volume of trade and lower transaction costs due to enhanced competition that encourages rising farm gate prices and reduced retail prices. Any increase in productivity in an economy creates unemployment if demands for goods remains constant. The essential feature of economic development lies precisely in gains in productivity leading to higher earnings and an increase in demand for goods and services. It is in this context that it is argued that wholesale markets can indeed contribute to economic growth and job creation. Although newer improved market infrastructure and available facilities may not be sufficient to attract well-established wholesalers, further inducements in the form of tax and credit concessions may be required. When major wholesalers have been persuaded to invest in the new market, for example in building warehouses, offices, etc., their participation and that of others will be assured. It is vital, however, that local government authorities do not use wholesale marketing systems as channels for levying taxes on produce traders. To encourage patronage, it may be preferable to simply reorganize wholesale activities at existing sites, but if relocation does prove necessary, the potential new site should be as near to the existing location of wholesalers as possible. Read the question below. Use the remaining time indicated to plan and write your response. Your response will be judged on the quality of your writing as well as how well your response presents the points in the lecture and the relationship to the reading passage. Typically, an effective response consists of 150 to 225 words. Summarize the main points of the lecture showing how they oppose the main points in the reading passage. Pause the video to begin writing your response now.